thank you for watching this video um, yet again I don't have professional equipment for videoing so I'm doing my best to show you guys uh, what I'm going to do I have the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra Edition and I'm gonna want I want an extra M2 SSD drive as you can see the Samsung 980 and to do this I'm gonna use the iFixit kit I think everyone that does stuff like this needs a kit like that you can use it for every laptop and every phone and to open it up without damaging first what you need to do is open up the foot pads now they didn't all go very smooth so just pay attention just let the equipment do the job the tools uh, don't over stretch anything don't overdo anything because things might break and you don't want it and you can see on top of my laptop I'm gonna place the stuff I take off in the right position so I'll know what needs to be put back at what place so the one that didn't came off there it is that's the first step then there are four very tiny screws so just take the iFixit kit get a small screwdriver fit it all right and let's go so there's only four screws <coughs> And after four screws then the hard part begins because you can go with a sucking nap don't know the correct English term for it and just open it up it's normally used with phones uh, with a lot of adhesive tape well in this case something else worked but you will see it as you can see I'm searching how should I open it how should I open it well let's try I'm using this and this because there are some air points that doesn't suck and there it does so I have a place let's see I'm trying to open it up it doesn't go very well also you do not do not want to damage the there's the output for the music on the sides as you can see both sides you don't want to damage it because it is a little bit fragile so in the end I decided to get it on the back side of the laptop and just work on that so no that doesn't work as well so I got a bit of uh, openings over there so it's like hey there's a small opening let's try let's try and then I'm gonna use this click you uh, I'll turn on turn on the video right now the sound of the video you can hear the clicks and there's a lot of clicks And just go around so the side the back is open the side is open and just take it gentle do don't overdo it don't go and pull on it use tooling to open it up don't pull it because you can break it it can break in half the back plate you can damage it you don't want to do that so now it think it should be loose but as you can see I'm stretching it it doesn't go off uh, in the end I found out there are some adhesive tape that you will see so I'm gonna do in the back a little more breaking and opening and it's almost coming off
there it is as you can see there's some adhesive tape right there so this is the inside and on the left side there's the well I first point to the current SSD drive and then there's the, the SSD drive port that's open so remove the screw it's a very small one it's attached to it then just open your uh, SSD box to take out the SSD drive As you can see you can slide in and when uh, it, it, it should fall in the socket where the screw is attached to so that way you just know it's always connected in the right way because otherwise it simply doesn't fit so if it's like this it's good I'm gonna put away the box for the SSD drive and put back the screw Now there are also SSD drives with a heatsink. Don't take that one because a heatsink just simply doesn't fit within the laptop. There's no use for it. You can see the cooling fans on the side and I'm gonna close up the laptop. So put it on, put the back back on and press it. And you should hear clicks everywhere. So I'm gonna allow the sound from the video to come through again. Um, you can hear click, click, click. And a pretty funny thing happened because you can see I'm really pressing it. Every corner, every thing, everywhere I'm pressing to make sure everything is clicked. There's nothing left. And I was pretty confident everything was clicked but you will notice it's not so make sure you get it right so I'm gonna put in the screw that's one that's two and the third one it just didn't go in you hear it a little little click and it's in so even if I even when I pressed everything five times still it wasn't good so make sure you really press it now for the foot the first one I've just put it on um, but there's a little structure inside I don't know how to say it but you should look inside you can shoot you should look at the screw there's a small opening and there's only one way you can put these back in so make sure you know where they're from as I did so every corner gets to say the, the, the same path back and put it in the right way otherwise it might come off why well, you don't want it so that should be it <coughs> at that point we can boot it now I would advise you to uh, put a piece of paper or something underneath the laptop when you uh, put it on its back like I did I knew my desk was completely uh, clean but if you're not sure if there's a little crumb it can uh, make a scratch on your surface and that would be a shame so make sure it's smooth well when you've installed the hard drive that's not everything you need to do because you need to, to get it activated in Windows as well 
so booted up. And I'll show you how it's done. So, this PC, there's no additional drive. The first drive I like to call Windows, because it's where the installation is installed. So, Windows, there we go. And then you need to open Disk Management. And you will see that it has found a new disk and you can use the GPT partition table and you can right click over there make a new simple volume on the d drive and i'm gonna call it data and just press next a couple of times and there it is so those are the steps you need to do to activate the new disk as well so now when you ins install software or install games or uh, whatever you can use it for hyper-v servers or whatever uh, you can put it on the D drive as well so there's two times one terabyte SSD inside uh, now for my mouse it also wanted to install the software so I've allowed it and I'm gonna put out the administrator access questions all the time because I hate it so when you have further questions about this feel free to ask me and other than that thank you for watching the video and I'll hope to see you back later on uh, if you like the video, you can like it and you can subscribe to my channel and help me with it to maybe finally get professional equipment. Thank you very much and see you the next time.